I'll share with you guys one incident. <clears throat> you know, a few years back in Chicago, there was a lady whose son was very sick. Very young man, his son was, her son was sick. And his, her, his situation was such that he was on life support and they were going to take him off the life support. And she said to me, I want you to be there when my son passes away. So I said to the lady, I'll come. I remember I came to the hospital, she was standing next to the son's bed. He was maybe in his mid-teens. And her husband was sitting next to me, he was on a wheelchair. And she told the doctor, go ahead, take him off the life support and they moved the machinery from him. And he was lying there in Allahu Akbar, seeing a mother holding her child's hand as her child was dying was something too hard to see with your eyes. It was just too hard. But I was sitting there watching because she asked me for support. But it was so difficult for me to sit there that I started looking down and tears started flowing from my eyes. And this lady was holding her son's hand and just biting her lip and just saying to her son, she kept saying in a soft tone, everything will be okay, everything will be okay. And she knows that his pulse is cutting down. She can feel it, she's holding his hand. And then she says to the doctor, when the final moments come, let me know. The doctor said to her, these are the final moments now. So Allahu Akbar, this lady, she leaned forward and she kissed her child and she stopped right there. And she just, stu she just stayed in that moment, that, that, that position there, she was just kissing her child until the child passed away. After the child passed away, I stood up to greet her. I said, Auntie, you know, I apologize for not being able to give you the support at this tough moment because I, I was breaking down in tears myself. She said to me, son, I didn't invite you to give me support. For that I have Allah. I've learned that through the years. The only one you can rely on is Allah. However, the reason why I called you here is because I wanted you to be witness that I loved my son. See, a few weeks ago, my son and I had an argument. And he fell ill while we were in the state of that argument. I didn't get a chance to tell him how much I loved him. And then she said to me, Wallahi al-Azim, I swear by Allah, the day he was born, it was these hands that first brought him into the world. And I was the first one to hold him and I was the first one to kiss him. And today when he left the world, I wanted you to be witness that I was the last one to hold him and I was also the last one to kiss him. See, sometimes you forget about your connection, the heat of the moment, you get distracted. But can you ever break the relationship of a mother and a child? I mean, this mother is kissing her child after the child is dead. He's gone. He's left the dunya. You know, he's no longer even existent. Before he was born, the mother was carrying the child in her, in her womb. Before he was even in existence, he was, a, he was in the womb. He was something, maybe nothing. And the mother is still holding that stomach and she's talking to the baby, she's smiling at the baby, she's already planning her dreams with the baby. Likewise, the much, as much as your mother loves you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you 99 folds more than that. No matter how much your mother loves you, and there are mothers sitting here and they can't even express their love for their kids. They can't put it in words. It's impossible. It's one of those relationships, those feel, it's a feeling. It's, you know, the Layla and Majnun couldn't express their love for each other. You know, Romeo and Juliet couldn't express their love for each other. Ask any mother, can the love of Romeo and Juliet ever match your love for your child? And the mother will say, Romeo and Juliet are amateurs. We're the pros. And if you think you're the pros, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beyond you. 99 folds more than that.